a successful doctor who invented a new type of syringe after investing most of... See, they wrote this weird. Don't they have an editor? Investing most of money into his research and production. But he got screwed out of the rights. <laughs> That's professional. But he got screwed out of the rights, leading investigators to blame financial problems. Other creepy details include a passage of Dante's Divine Comedy left open uh, on his bedside table. If I say anything wrong, I'm really sorry. I'm not that smart. Two years later, it was sold to the Enriquez family, who used it as a storage unit, and their son continued to do so until he sold it to a couple in 2016 with plans to fix it up. But it seemed to have scared them, because within a few years on the market, also report a feeling of needing to run away from the house when they get close up to it. I get that feeling in the upstairs hallway. If I, if you do, you get this, this feeling where you just kind of duck your neck and you're scared. Okay, should I do one more? I don't know how long this is. Let me look quick. Uh, oh, 21 minutes. All right. Well, if you're bored, here you go. I'm going to continue. Sorry, the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. In 1937, millionaire inventor Norman G. Baker posed as a doctor and turned the hotel into a hospital that he said could cure cancer. Have the chills? <laughs> have the chills yet? Not really. Okay. Baker, who had a fetish for purple, <laughs> the fuck? Who had a fetish for purple, painted many sections of the hospital in the color, and today. Remain that same color. In addition to wearing purple shirts and ties, he drove a purple car as well. People came from all over with hopes of curing their cancer, and many who were treated died. Eventually, Baker was exposed and ran out of town, and today the property is an active hotel. It's said to be haunted by several ghosts, including a bearded man wearing Victorian clothing and a five year old girl. Uh, is there any more? See some of I can't say this is about a lunatic asylum in asylum in Western West Virginia. Uh, the lunatic asylum was designed to house 250 patients when it opened in 1864. Fast forward to the 1950s when the facility reached its peak and had more than 2,400 patients living in overcrowded and inhumane conditions. Oh, they kept people in cages. In 1994, the asylum closed, and today there are reports of paranormal activity with the souls of patients lingering and roaming around the halls. You can take an overnight ghost hunt tour from 9 to 5 a.m. at the asylum, a two-hour paranormal tour from 10.30 to 12.30 a.m., or a 90-minute day tour. And then the person who did this website, who wants money, put a button that says, stories are just a tiny bit lame. They don't add enough spookiness. Maybe I can add more. Okay, this is the Merchant House Museum in New York, New York. <laughs> Seeing it as the only preserved and intact family home from the 19th century in all of New York City, it makes sense that this house has also been the source and subject of really boring and lame. What about 
I told you I'm back. 